Bat Nam, this is Mahan Rajkar, and I wanted to reach out to you. I haven't gone live in a while. I want you to know how much I love you, and if I haven't seen you, I miss you. I'm really excited about this technology, and what I'm really excited about is this weekend we're doing this immersion, and one of the things we're really going to play with is the Mool Mantra. And I wanted to talk about the Mool Mantra. The Mool Mantra is 101 words, which is in itself numerology completion. The Mool Mantra is the beginning of the Japji, the entire prayer, this beautiful prayer and actually a coded technology, the Japji, to waking up the Guru is you. One of the main ingredients, of course, of this is two things, many things, but we're going to talk about two things in this little video, is Sat Nam. So, while your body moves, your life moves, your career moves, your family moves, everything moves around you except, except your Sat Nam. And your Sat Nam is true to you. And your Sat Nam is a part of your personal coded Nod. And the Nod is a rhythm. It is the rhythm of life. And one of the things that happens in Kundalini Yoga in a class, a workshop, an immersion, is you keep going into these experiences where you experience the, the nod, the nom, with a group, the group consciousness and rhythm, and it eventually awakens you to the guru inside of you, the nom, the rhythm of you. This is one of the most important things. Rhythm and energy, you know, Kundalini, I've said it millions of times, it is, it feels really spiritual, it is, but it's not, that's not its main ingredient, and it's not a religion, it is a technology, it's a gift to you to find out the most pristine, um, wise, loving part of you, the guru inside of you. Isn't it great to know that inside of you are all the answers? You know, so Yogi Bhajan talked about this time we're in right now and that we would get cold depression, he called it. And it's caused from computer sickness. And that means that we can go anywhere. We can Google, we can text, we can Instagram, we can whatever. And I'm glad you're listening to me, but don't listen to too much, right? Because I should just be reminding you that the knowledge you're seeking is inside of you. When we come together and we do Kundalini Yoga, we learn to trust ourselves. So a part of this mole mantra is the, the, the back end, which is ad such, jugad such, habe such, non kahose be such. I wanna show you a mudra that you can do with this. And as we know, when we say this mantra and we say the be instead of be, instead of have be such, we say have be such, we're using that part of the um, translation to remove blocks. And such is truth. We're removing everything that isn't true so we can be true. And I'm watching my puppy, hang on. She is now tearing up Mahanra Singh's sweatpants ha anyway and back don't you do it maha she's such a good little makanda very liberating for herself not so much us <laughs> anyway so such the truth of who you are so this um mudra and the mantra together open up opportunities i really want us to get used to discussing and being with that the opportunity is here. It's always been here. You know, I always think back to when I, you know, I did the writing when I wanted Tony to come into my life and I did the work on myself, but I felt him, the opportunity of him, the feeling of him was so palatable. It was like people would say to me, are you in love? I hadn't even met him yet, but you see what I'm saying? I was in that field of opportunity. I was already experiencing it. So if you have something you're needing to heal or you have something that you're working on, what you, what you want to get into the space of is it's not out there. This is what the ad such to God such habe such non be such does because it's true in the beginning, 
true throughout the ages, true even now, ever shall it be. It's like these um, vortexes, these bookends that bring your past self, the wisdom of all your lifetimes and all the souls you've known, and the wisdom of your future self, where you are in this perfected state where you and humanity has finally ar arrived at harmony. And you bring those together into now. They already exist. It's about remembering. So here's the mudra. I want you to touch your fingertips. I just got something, sorry about that. Touch your fingertips. Now, I want you to look at your fingers, look at them and touch the top knuckle and the second knuckle. And it's a really kind of a pressure. Do not touch the thumbs, the thumbs stay apart. Point the thumbs towards the heart. Bring the tops of your arms into your ribs. Keep the pressure on your knuckles. Look at the tip of your nose. So your eyes are closed except for they open one tenth to look at the tips of your fingers. And we're going to say the mantra together. Odd such, jugad such, habe such, non se be such. Keep the pressure on to remove the blocks. And we're going to say this 11 times and just have a little experience of this. I'm telling you, this is one of the most powerful meditations and mantras you can do. Oh, hey, Sabrina, love you. We're doing odd such to God such. We're touching our fingertips and then the first knuckle and then the second knuckle like this. The thumbs don't touch right in front of the heart. The upper arms are closed in. Let's do it. Look at the tip of your nose. Odd such to God such. Habe such, non se be such, odd such, jugad such, looking at the tip of your nose. Habe such, non se be such, odd such, jugad such, habe such, non se be such, odd such, jugad such, habe such. Nanikahose be such, ad such, jugad such, habe such, nanikahose be such, ad such, jugad such, habe such, nanikahose be such, ad such, jugad such, habe such, nanikahose be such, ad such, jugad such, habe such, Nanikahose be such, odd such, jugad such, habe such, nanikahose be such. Inhale deep. Keep the pressure on the knuckles. Keep the looking at the tip of the nose. Feel it. Now exhale, press the entire hands together and then open them up. And like you have this energy, press it onto your face down into a prayer. Do it for 11 minutes. I have been doing this with my classes. I get on a little rhythm. We are really into odd such right now. And, oh wait, what did you say, Sabrina? Always coming in when you're doing these. Hey, <laughs> I know, I love you. Um, so we've been, real, we've been focusing on this mantra this week and we're going to expand it into this three day this weekend with bringing in the mul mantra. Ah, oh, if you can't do the three days, no worries. We got these big juicy things going on. So on Saturday from two to six, it's a workshop. Drop into that. Uh, it's called Jawan Mutk, which means liberated life. And it's a really deep heart healing workshop. Sunday, we have a free Aquarian Sadhana. So we're going to chant the Aquarian Sadhana, 5.30 a.m. Vista. And then what's the last thing? Oh, and then one last little workshop, a two-hour one, on Sunday from 2 to 4 called The Path to Greatness. I love you. Um, when it comes to this, this meditation is called Open Up to Opportunities. It's in Guru Ratana's um, Transitions into a Heart-Centered World, one of the best Kundalini books you could buy. Transitions into a Heart-Centered World by Guru Ratana. And I like to use this recording. I really love to use Joseph Levery, Joseph Michael Levery. Sometimes he's called Guru Nam. I think that the reason I really love to chant with him is because he has a good nod. He has a rhythm and he stays with it. 
it's not all harmonic and vocally it's really more about saying the mantra and staying on task and he has almost everything in 11 to 22 to 31 minute sections so that you can really get into a meditation and go deep these are magical times we are getting ready for a huge transition i think it's on may 15th when Uranus will go into Taurus. This is actually a pretty sweet weekend, no alarming energy, but it's a great time to go in nature, take good care of yourself, take extra good care of yourself. You are on track, we are waking up, and we are in it together. I love you. Satnam. How do I end this? Oh, there it is. in life.